Let's now do an example of maximum likelihood estimators. And in this one, we actually aren't going to use calculus. We're just going to think about it a little bit. So in this example, we're using uniform distribution. So here's our uniform distribution. Maybe you were uniformly distributed between 0 and theta. Then here's our PDF. It's at height 1 over theta to ensure, of course, that this integrates to 1. OK. So if we wanted to write this out, we have Here's our PDF. It's just equal to 1 over theta as long as we're talking about x values between 0 and theta. All right, so let's imagine we randomly, select, uh, randomly sample five data points. OK, so we have a random sample of size 5. We have x1 through x5. And then we can write down our likelihood function. So our likelihood function, remember, is that joint PDF. Here we have independent samples, so we can just take the product of the univariate PDFs. So we have 1 over theta to the 5, as long as we have 0 less than or equal to each of these x's less than or equal to theta. So we're trying to maximize this, but remember we also have this constraint here. We need to have all of the x's be less than or equal to theta. So we need x1 less than or equal to theta, x2 less than or equal to theta, and so on, all of them. OK, so if we're trying to minimize this, but we still have to have this be true, let's just find the max of these x's. So let's just call y1 the max of the x's. Then it will definitely be true because y1 is the max, it will definitely be true that y1 is less than or equal to theta. And so to maximize this likelihood, let's use a maximum likelihood estimator of theta hat is the max of your data points. So then we can definitely see, yes, this is the smallest theta possible. So then this will maximize the likelihood. And we'll still be playing by the rules. We'll still have theta is greater than or equal to all of those data points that we have collected.